So if you ever wanted to delete all of your contacts on your iPhone, there are multiple ways to do, and in this video, I'll show you all the possible methods to get it done, and you can just pick which option is best for you. So let's just get started with the video. Now, the very first way to delete contacts from your iPhone is by going to the settings of your device. You're not going to the contacts app in this specific instance, but straight to the built-in settings app. Then at the top of the page, you can see your name there. It's your personal iCloud zone there, where all the personal information is stored. So open up the section, click on it to get inside. Now again, a couple of different settings and toggles, but make sure you select the one saying iCloud. Click there, it may take a while to load up because it's internet based. So this could make it a tiny bit slower. For me, you can see almost the entire iCloud storage is full, but this doesn't really matter. We need to scroll down a bit more and there is the apps using iCloud section. You can see photos, drive mail, but click on show all. This will display all of the apps and now scroll down and try to find, try to see the contacts app. Once you find it, you should see the green toggle enabled right next to it. In this case, just turn it off like this. And then this pop-up is going to be the most important one. So when you turn off iCloud sharing of your contacts, it asks you whether you want to keep the contacts on your iPhone or not. When you click the red button that says delete, in this case, all of your iCloud contacts will be removed from the contacts app on your iPhone. So this is pretty useful and solves a lot of problems for many people. Not for everyone though. Well, in the situation that you don't even have the contacts on your iCloud, but on other cloud services, you can actually change or remove them from a different place. So like I said, if you want to remove contacts from these other sources, then you'll need to do this. So still in the settings, you need to come back to the main section and scroll down a lot towards the bottom until you find the contacts page. So get inside it. In there, you can see for me, it's, it's three accounts. So not only iCloud, but there are three other places where I can get contacts from. So if you want to remove everything, you'll need to remove all accounts. So click on any of your added accounts. It can be Gmail or pretty much anything else. And you can delete it entirely or, again, just uncheck the contacts toggle. The same way we did with iCloud. It should ask you again if you want to keep or remove the contacts from your iPhone. So naturally click remove. This should remove the majority, if not all of your contacts from your device. You can always just get inside the contacts app to see if there is anything left. If yes, you'll probably need to manually remove the entries, remove the people until your page looks completely empty. But this is still not the last method you can use to manage your contacts. Besides, using your iPhone only, you also employ some different devices, mostly your computer. So either log into your iCloud and manage your contacts there. Well, we removed all iCloud contacts from the iPhone already, but I'm just saying that you can manage them much better from a computer. There you can also bulk delete them or select only those you want, basically more options. Or on your computer, you can download some iPhone manager apps. I'm not affiliated with any of these apps, but there are some desktop applications like Dr. Phone, for example, um, or some other different ones which claim to fix pretty much every problem of your iPhone, which I think is kind of questionable. But what these apps can do is managing your contacts. I have pretty good experiences with managing contacts this way. So I'm just saying what worked for me, you of course don't have to use it. So if you want to go that route, you can install the app on your computer, plug in your iPhone, follow the steps and all the stuff, and you'll then be able to see your contacts on your computer screen. And not only cloud contacts, but those real stored on your device. So I find this to be very useful. But as you know, there are no settings or easy settings to manage contacts right from the iPhone. So this is how we are supposed to do it. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button. It shows me that my video indeed helped you out, so that's definitely nice. And also make sure you're subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel because here I post a lot of videos like this one. So make sure you stay in touch. Thanks a lot for watching till the end, and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.